Right, drop some bits off the car. You can see Loch Tula in the distance. Oh, too much zoom. Sorry, my apologies. Then put them digits right near, too close together. My big clumsy fingers keep touching the wrong way. But you can see the cars down at the car park. We follow the trail. I see people come up here. Other days, I thought the gate was padlocked, but then it's open. I like to explore, so we're on the other side of where we normally are. We're normally over there. There's a river in between us. So we're just following up here and see where it goes. See if we can see our hut from over this side. And to be honest, if we could get all the way over here, we'd probably cross that river because it's so shallow. So we could do a nice big circuit. Oh, look, lovely views, eh? I thought we'd do something different for a change. It's one of them lovely days where you don't want to do too much because it's so beautiful. Why tie yourself out when it's so glorious like this? I could have done that again, but I can do that another day. We'll be back here many times. It's the kind of place I like to hide away when I expect bad weather, but uh, obviously we're not getting it. Right, we'll see where we go. Look at that for you. That's better, isn't it? Oops, sorry. I'm still getting used to this phone. <laughs> oh, you don't want to see her. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> i tell you why it's getting warm, because there's no breeze. Wow. Put the monsters on the uh, leads because there's a lot of cow dung around here. Something looks fresh, so there might be cows. I don't know if we're supposed to be in this field because it was padlocked, but it was open. You know, it was unlocked, but that doesn't mean anything. But I've come across no ruins here, so I want to see what it is. I'm curious. So let's find out. So, I don't know if it's an old house. There's a plaque here. Let's have a look. See what we've come across. Oh my god. Can you understand any of that? <laughs> and it, and it, why can't they put it in English so I can understand? I don't know what that says. I guess it's Gaelic. I will take a photo. <laughs> So, I haven't a clue what this building used to be. Obviously, if you can read Gaelic, you'd know. The cows are down the field there, so we're out of range, that's good. I'd love to know, I'm curious now. I have to find some reception. It's been put there for a reason, hasn't it? Ah, pondering. Well, there's the monument or ruins. Uh, there is a track that leads into the forest there, but it looks like it's out of bounds, to be honest. There's shared with equipment and all that, so I'm not gonna go through, through respect. I mean, the guy, is uh, the one that looks after this estate is the one that brought all the wood for me and the last thing I want to do is upset him if I shouldn't be in an area where I shouldn't be he probably wouldn't mind I don't know but um, if he's been kind to me I'm not going to kind of push my luck and upset him plus I could go all the way in there go exploring come out and all the cows could be out here waiting for us and dogs and cows just don't get on. 
They either follow you or they start charging you. It's bad enough walking through a field of cows by yourself sometimes. And there's too much dung around here as well. The dog's tried to eat it, which is a no-no. It's bad enough from stepping in it, so I'm watching her. Right, we'll go down to the lock and have a look at the lock. Tell you what, it's just so nice to be walking somewhere like this with such views. And listen. <laughs> with such peace. And not carry a backpack on your back or carry wood into the hut. Normally I'm walking up here carrying about two bags of coal, a bag of wood, close to 60, 70 pounds, around that mark. Absolute chugging away. <laughs> so nice just to have the jacket on. Just strolling along. Not a care in the world. And it's also nice, I just met a nice couple again. They're from Glasgow. And they're just looking around and just chat. It's just nice to meet pleasant people, have a chat. Seems to bring the the best out of people when you're in these places. Total strangers bump into each other, start chatting. Whereas when you're in the towns and city, you'd walk by each other, bump into each other, knock each other, <laughs> probably <laughs> fight over the last loaf of bread, whatever is going. Instead, we talk. We do things that we don't normally do. Why don't we do that more? It's a stupid question really, isn't it? Right, we're going to go round to the lock and see what we can do round there. Funny sign. Sounds like, the last bit sounds like my three. Heading towards the edge of the lock so I can get some shots of the mountains. Last time I come down here, it was snowing. It was more or less a little, more or less a white hour. It was probably being a bit dramatic, but you couldn't see the other side of the lot. Now I don't know if this road is private as such. It says no unauthorised vehicles and it does say private so I suppose I may be pushing it but uh, I'm only going to the water's edge and take some photos so I'm not going to cause any problems. just want to see what I missed last time. It looks stunning. Oh, I'll have a look in a minute. My word, what a view. This is Loch Tula, if I pronounced it correctly. You have to excuse Rebel and his moaning. Never happy. Still icy on the edges there. Eh? How beautiful, eh? So we can zoom in on that. Ooh. Stunning. Love it. And to think I couldn't even see the other side. Last time I was here, Christmas it was. Unbelievable. Will they run or not? Tell you what, the wind's picked up, it's got really bitter. So many deer around this area. Mainly stags. Saw some hinds near Loch Tula. Can never get enough of them, such beautiful creatures, eh? Even though they carry them. Oops, sorry, I'm dipping you. I'm walking on this cobbly stuff and it's oh it's a pain. That's bad. 
zoom in. Should we try it? Oh, not too bad. The wild bunch. As you can see, the K9 Outdoors team is raring to go. I made the fatal mistake, didn't I? I lit the fire. And once you light the fire, you cannot leave, can you? <laughs> 10 to 2. I had lunch, and I was getting nippy. It's clouded over outside. And it's gone really kind of overcast and just the odd sunny bright spell. Lie down, Stella. Lie down. Lie down. So they start talking, they want to move. And uh, the dog's crashed out. You know, I started getting tired. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, I'm just going to sit down and that's it. The minute I sat down, look at these two idiots. I knew I weren't going to move. Uh, lie down, Stella. She wants to go walk about. I cover her a lot, but maybe she gets hot. I don't know. Maybe the fire's making her hot. And it's also going very nippy out there. The wind's picked up again. Don't exactly like yesterday. Clouded over, wind picked up. Even though it feels warmer, once that wind hits you, it's the wind chill that's making you feel colder. But yeah, that made sense. Oh, sorry. Sometimes it's just nice to do nothing, isn't it? How many times do you see me hiking, doing 12, 15, going as many miles with heavy packs? Sometimes it's just nice to not doing anything and plus I'm going back tomorrow so it's a bit of an anti-climax isn't it it's like oh I don't want to go back oh, then we've got visitors so the dogs are bark turn my back 10 minutes and look what happens we've got snow coming in where did that come from <laughs> that's not in the prediction definitely not on the forecast that I saw Tomorrow night is the snow. Someone needs to tell the forecasters that this is not supposed to be snowing. It's only light flurries, but it's starting to come down. And I think we will get hit by uh, a good shower, the way that sky's looking. But that's what it's been like, last hour or so, like that. And you can feel, I mean, you can see it now coming down. Yep, we're going to get a snow shower. A kid. But, <laughs> have they got it wrong? And Are we going to get covered in snow now? I've been looking at uh, more uploads of uh, videos that Peter put. And uh, it seems like everywhere's had snow. Even Aldershot, my friend down Aldershot has had snow. How did that happen? <laughs> we're in Scotland and we're not got snow until this very minute. Oh, it's freezing out here. What time is it? Uh, hold on, hold on. I don't know. I'm starting to pick reception out here all of a sudden. Half past two. Don't know how that happened either. Half past two and it starts snowing on a Friday afternoon. The fourth day in. Yet they were predicting it from day one. Can't complain now, we got it. Right, get in while it's warm.
Yep. It's starting to come down now. It's freezing. Thank God I stayed in. <laughs> it was lazy. That paid off, didn't it? We could have been out of that. Fourteen thirty-eight. I can't remember what time I said I settled down. About twenty minutes ago, I think, wasn't it? Bit of luck again. Oh, all the clear sky's gone. Let's see what's like. It's enough to sell if the temperature stays cold and it starts getting thicker. But how much we're going to get, it could be just a quick shower and then gone again. It's starting to settle on the ground, isn't it? Oops, <laughs> that went on the cards. So it just shows how easy the weather can be out because uh, I was talking to people, they were saying the same. I was stopping people that were going up the West Harlem Way and they said the same. They said, everyone said the same thing, Saturday night, Saturday night. A lot. Friday afternoon. You just can't predict when you're in the Highlands, can you? I'm going to put my feet up and watch the snow from the window. I've got a nice cold fire on. As you can see, we're knee deep in snow. It just blew over. Crazy weather. Look at it. <laughs> I can assure you we're in the same location. Unreal. Still chilly. We stayed in for about half an hour. Uh, I let the dogs have a run. And uh, they didn't want to go anywhere. I said, come on, let's go. And they went back to the hut. So I thought, right, I'll leave you to it. I see someone in the distance. I don't know if they're going or coming. If we had time to be coming here, I passed four. Oh, I see stags running as well. So, sorry, I'm. Up there, there's where the stags normally hang around. There was an orange jacket. Can't see it now. I don't know where he's gone. But the stags were running as well. Mr. Walker's gone behind some trees or something. I know this probably doesn't interest you, but <laughs> I was just curious where what was going off at. Anyway, so we've had a lazy afternoon. Look at that water level, still low. Unbelievable, isn't it? That's normally, I think you've seen it in the past, a roaring river there. Really weird. Good morning everyone, day five, day to go home, what a beautiful day to go home though, but again, I'm still predicting snow for tonight and for the next few days, but they've been saying that for the last few days, anyway, 11.15, just leaving the hut, it's time for us to go Back to the car, done one trip already. It was chaos, there was loads of people in the car park. There was even two horses, <laughs> people riding. Uh, 
dogs, horses, cars, camper vans, you know, normal Saturday morning stuff. These are hyped out a bit. Rebel, calm down. So, should be a good start to a drive, nine hour drive. Should get home about, if I stop a couple of times for the dogs, should get home about nine, ten o'clock tonight, which is nice. If I was going to flat through, I'd get back about half past eight, something like that. That's pushing it, I don't want to do that. But, again, they've got heavy snow warnings all the way down North uh, England, down to Central where we are. So the snow could be in front of us and we could be heading into it. Rebel, head back. Thank you. So, uh, who knows what's going to happen, eh? <laughs> We've been no snow for four or five days. And driving back, we could be absolutely surrounding in snow. It'd be typical, and it'd be funny if I get home and it's more snow at home than there is actually in Scotland where we've been. But anyway, I had a great five days. As I say, it wasn't planned. It was like an emergency escape, you know what I mean, to find somewhere to go at the spur of the moment that I know of, that I could have the dogs separate from people, you know what I mean? If I go in a boffy, I've got three dogs, and if it's busy, it'd be chaos. So, uh, it worked out. Anyway, I won't be uh, doing a goodbye from the car because it's just too busy. And I don't want to capture people and people think I'm stupid. Rebel, get your head back, please. And uh, I don't want to look stupid talking into <laughs> a phone. <laughs> But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I put it's more touristy this one, uh, showing the Glenfin Inn and places like that. And as, as I say, I have walked that uh, uh, trek to Glen Kingas before, so you've probably seen that in an earlier vid. But still, hey, the views are stunning. The weather was better, clearer, clearer skies, so it won't waste the time. As I say, we had a great time. Um, Next one, I would like to say hot tenting, but the way this year's going with the weather, anything could happen. I need to get Rogue sorted out tent-wise. She's not been in a tent, so I don't know how she's going to react. She's hyperactive at the best of times, so it could be chaos. Um, so we'll see how it goes. It might be a couple one-nighters out of Peak District. I prefer to be in Scotland, to be honest. Sorry, you're probably in my rubbish. I'm carrying my rubbish out. Unlike some people, <laughs> I've got a whiskey bottle in there and there was a couple of empty other bottles so I've taken them as well. So you might hear them jingling. So, from us it's a goodbye. And as I say, I hope I rambled on too much. But I hope you, the views and the stunning landscape and the scenery and etc. makes up for it. But uh, from us it's a bye from now. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>